Hey everybody, Mike here. Sunday, April 23rd, another beautiful day. Uh, I'm into all kind of stuff today. But first off, behind me, I have a, uh, I bought that yesterday. It's a king cutter. They call it a carry-all. All it is is a frame mounts on your three-point of the tractor. But I'm going to build a box on it and, you know, something to hold, you know, my chainsaw, maybe carry some firewood, uh, whatever. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'll do that later this week. First thing I wanted to do, though, is uh, change that ugly mustard color to Kubota orange. So I did that. And besides, King Cutter's not really known for their uh, paint jobs on stuff. So that ought to help a little bit. Here it is. I mean, it's pre-drilled. I guess I'll probably use like 2x6s, build a box on it, maybe a rack for the chainsaw. Mounts right to your three-point. Should work pretty good. Here's the uh, paint that I use, Kubota Acrylic Enamel. It says for professional use only. Uh-oh. Anyways, it's uh, bright orange, too. This is the new Kubota paint. There's also an old Kubota paint, but this is the new color orange. It's been around for a while, though. But yeah, it's, it's good paint. I'll let this dry, and then come back and flip it over later, and uh, do the bottom. But this is where my uh, ADD kicks in. I get started on one thing, and then I'll just jump from one thing to another. I get a lot done, but kind of enjoy it this way. You don't get bored. Sometimes I'll be out here, you know, cutting the grass. You shut the mower off and I'll hear somebody target shooting, you know, a mile away. And I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I'll do some shooting or whatever. But now I'm going to try to plant, uh, start growing some chestnut trees. Let me explain. These are chestnuts. Actually, Chinese chestnuts. I, uh, we have several in our yard. Last year I picked up about 20 of them. And I put them in the refrigerator over winter. I read somewhere that's what you do. You can see it's starting to get a little root or stem on it. I have no idea if this is going to work. But uh, if it doesn't, I'm going to be out about 8 bucks, So it's worth a try. So I'm going to uh, put some potting soil on all these. Put one nut, some of the better looking ones, in each pot. Water them every day and see what happens. Okay, that's it for that. I'm going to uh, water them. I'll water them every day and see what happens. But the deer love these chestnuts. They will walk past any other kind of food to get to these things. Next on the agenda, got to cut some grass. Here's my mower. This is a uh, bad boy, 27 horsepower ZT Pro Series. Has a uh, 27 horsepower Kohler motor on it. That's pretty much what I got to do the rest of the day is a bunch of mowing. I've had this mower, needs a bath badly, but uh, I've had this about five, yeah, five years. I've got 232 hours on it, so uh, really only about 40 hours a year of actual mowing, which is, uh, it's fast, way faster than the regular, I had a John Deere rider before, I mow about uh, two and a half, three acres, so that's not bad, uh, a little over 40 hours a year. Yeah, I need to clean this thing up. Usually I take better care of this.
started this video with the intention on uh, working on that carry-all, that three-point carry-all for the tractor. However, I got a little sidetracked, did all the mowing and uh, a few other things. And then I'm finishing up the day here. I went for a ride on the Ranger. But up here is where I want to, uh, if I ever get those little chestnuts that I planted, if I ever get seedlings, I'm going to plant them up here. This used to be an orchard at one time. It was uh, years ago. It all grew up. And then uh, last year, maybe a year and a half ago, I cleared all this, uh, this area here at least. I used one of those forestry heads on a skid steer. I rented it. It was way too much for a brush hog. So I cut all the firewood out of it. And uh, it came out pretty nice, but I only did maybe half an acre of it. But the whole orchard, I think, used to be around five acres. Uh, but once I get those chestnuts going, if that works out, I'm going to plant some of those in here. I'll have to fence them all off real well. And then uh, I'm thinking actually getting a few fruit trees for up here too. So we'll see. But anyway, that's a typical Sunday afternoon here at Camp Morgan. I'm going to head back to the house and uh, put everything away and get ready for work. Monday's tomorrow. Take care.